with breaking news and political commentary from a public servant, serial entrepreneur, community leader, philanthropist, and American patriot, and a darn nice guy. It's time for the Grassroots Truthcast and your host, Gene Valentino. Hi, everybody. Gene Valentino with a special episode uh, here on the Grassroots Truthcast. You probably see this gentleman to my side, which is probably pretty familiar to you. He's been involved in political events nationwide. He's been involved with a rags to riches story, which mirrors mine you've heard about. And it's one of the things that I think attracted me to this gentleman. His name is Mike Lindell. Michael, thank you for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me on. I'm uh, honored to have you with us. We folks, just for the record, my pillow ads are and links are listed right here on the website. Just use the promo code Gene V when you click on the My Pillow link, and and there's a whole bunch of stuff that Mike's going to talk about. Michael, I thought we'd break up the interview into a few different segments. There's really your national notoriety, where we've come to know you well from from events occurring nationwide with your association with Donald Trump, someone we revere very much in this camp over here. And then we have this, where you've come from, you know, often to understand a person is to understand where they've come from. And your background is very similar to mine and how you reached to where you are now. And I honor you for that. And then there's the issues of the marketplace, the business enterprise, everything you've done to take this company to where it's gotten to today. And it hasn't been without a little bit of pain and suffering and (laughs) relationship issues that we all experience with vendors and customers. So from this point of view, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining us. And why don't you kick it off and tell us where you'd like to focus? Would you like to focus on, you want to put it, let's get a plug in right uh, at the top of the show first for my pillow, and then we'll get into some topics. Okay, well, I'll tell you that right now. We've got all the new colors of the towel sets that came in, six piece towel sets. And we're, remember, we were canceled all over with box stores and stuff. So our big orders that came in now with these new towels made with long staple Shapir cotton. $29.98. That's 50% off. We're running it right now before it even hits TV. So uh, using your promo code, was it Gene V, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, they can get those six pack sets, you guys. And there's 10 different new colors now, $29.98. That's our, and then we have all the, the slippers. We're, we're doing them $39.98 and on sale. Every every size, everything just came in. And we have all the colors. Every, there you go. <laughs> there you go, everybody. The The lowest price, when these come out, the commercials that are coming out now in a week or so, these are going to be on sale for $49. You can get them for $39 at using, right now at MyPillow.com. I use, I use that promo code Gene V. And then we've got, by the way, we have the kitchen towels that came in. These are all new products, 25% off. And one of the biggest things, though, that keep the factory going is the new MyPillow 2.0. 20 years ago, when I invented MyPillow, the patented fill um, that that we have in the my pillow, I didn't do any. I didn't change a thing until just this past year, and that's this new. This is the my pillow 2.0, the temperature regulating fabric that we made. Because in the United States here, this thread became available that was a cooling thread. So we made this fabric now for the my pillow 2.0, same patented fill and. These are on sale right now for 50% off the lowest price we've ever had them. $39.98 for Queen and $49.98 for our, our Kings are just $5 more. So that's those are the great specials we have. And we have the My Pillow mattress topper and My Pillow uh, mat- mattresses. People don't realize that we all these are made, these three things are manufactured in the USA. And so you you get all these great specials. This is the My Pillow body pillow. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> There's nothing left to sell me, Mike. <laughs> right. Well, we've got over everybody. We have over 260 products now. Well, maybe People there is. To, yeah, there is. I was going to say, <laughs> you know, th- and you go to our website and you check out 
I always look at problem solution. One of the things is couch pillows. We have couch pillows and throw pillows. You know, you get to a couch and they're all decorative, but you lay on their hard as a rock. You usually just take your arm and clear them off. Yeah. Well, we made throw pillows and couch pillows with the my pillow patent and fill. So they not only look great, but you can use them if you want to take a nap. So oh every words. single product we can reverse engineer, like these kitchen towels, they actually dry things. They're not just like, you know, like they, where they absorb or the, or my, or my, my towels, we, they actually absorb rather than, you know, you go to the store, they feel lotiony and soft. You get them home and the, the water just beads off. They don't, they don't absorb. And so almost every product we have, we've reverse engineered and say, what is the problems of that product? And then, and, and and solve each problem. You know? I I I've I've come to understand that all these young entrepreneurs coming into the marketplace after college these days uh, are dis are, are handicapped by a lot of the social and political issues surrounding them, and they don't uh, think uh, in terms of the rags to riches, hard work ethic, the Horatio Horatio Alger story of the American gospel of success and how hard work and good, strong work ethic gets, uh, got you to where you are. And what, what was it? Here's the crossover for me. You got a great business. It's doing really well. Your marketing plan is very ingenious, (laughs) but you have a standard distribution outlet. If I may pick on one that I know of in this community, bed and bed and bath. They, they, in fact, they're almost out of business now, or they are out of business. But when, before they were, they took the MyPillow product off the retail shelf. Why is that? Well, here's where, you know, let's go back a little bit. You know, I was, uh, I was the American dream on steroids. I used to be a crack cocaine addict and an addict in every sense of the word, a functioning addict through the eighties and nineties. And then the two thousands, I got into crack by the grace of God. I was free to that. January 16th of 2009, God freed me of all those addictions I ever had the desire since. I invented my pillow, though, in 2004, okay? So after 2009, you know, we had my pillow exploded in 2011 when I did my first infomercial. Now, we were, I was the America, the media's darling. Okay. I was the, I could say, they could say, how many, how many more employees are you hiring this week? And it was the, it was the American dream. Any media all over the country. I'd been on TV over 3 million times by 2016. And, and then we get up to the 2020 election and I was given evidence on January 9th of 2016 of, of a, uh, that this was done with computers and attack on our country. And I went public with that. At that time, all the box stores and the shopping channels, they all canceled me. It was the number one story in the world for four straight months every day. They, here's a business getting canceled every day. And you've got to realize, everybody, all of those box stores we named from Walmart, Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond, HEB, Costco, Sam, it doesn't matter. Uh, my pillow was the number one selling product of all time in every store in this country that carried it of all time for a buy through, even at Walmart, number one buy through. So they decided that they would do cancel culture, cancel my pillow out, and because of my speaking out to secure our elections. You're, you not only secured the election, spoke out to secure the election, you spoke out in favor of Donald Trump. I'm looking for something we disagree on, by the way. I can't find it. The right. the fact is they these retail outlets lost a ton of money, and you obviously pivoted on the fly and went with a direct marketing plan well, that must be had, doing we well. Already had, we already had that direct marketing plan, and okay. if that wouldn't have been in place, we lost a hundred and some million dollars immediately in all the retail, immediately in January of 21. This was devastating, and we were, but I was so intent here. We've got to secure our elections, and at that time, at that time, every the media kept spinning it. Oh, Mike Lindell just wants Donald Trump back, and of course I do. He's a he's a friend of mine. He's a great president, one of the best presidents we've ever had, if not the best ever. But when I was on Jimmy Kimmel in the fall, in the spring of twenty one, 
Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel asked me, he goes, Mike, if the shoe is on the other foot and and like you say, Donald Trump would have been the one selected and not elected, would you still be sounding the alarm? I said, absolutely, I would have. I would, I would, I, to this day, it's not about, now it's about, it doesn't matter if we don't have elections to get rid of these computers. So I stood firm on that as my pillow was attacked, lost money, then they end up getting sued by machine company. This is a company or an employee owned business. And all these employees now, they've been just devastated for two and a half years or almost three years now, but we've had to pivot as a CEO. Where can we, where can we go out and expand, which has been, you know, in radio, podcasts, and TV. We were already there, but a lot of them, you know. So it's not, it's not one or the other. You, you just, you had both going in parallel. Right. Uh, yeah. But, but, but you. Yeah, do you see a comeback on the uh, retail side? The uh... No, no. The retailer, they've stood firm. We've reached out to them. What we did now, just recently, we're reaching out to every mom store in the country like, of your furniture stores and your home goods and your uh, mattress uh, stores in every small town in America, because now they can have an advantage over the box stores that are there and say, hey, we carry my pillow product. And that's becoming right now. That was just the last two months. It's very successful. So, and where where now they'll have a draw because the people the people want the my pillow. Yeah, I go down the streets anywhere, and they this is the this was an attack by the True. media, and these C, these CEOs and CMOs that made decisions back then. They were bots and trolls attacked them. And I told them, I, I said, you know, if you cancel my pillow, those aren't real people. The real people are going to be upset. You've seen that happen with Bed Bath and Beyond yeah. yes. and Kohl's and everybody snipping their cards, Walmart last year. And so this, but, but it's, has we, is, are we ever going to get that back? No. So we've had to, we've had to look, expand our market and what we were already doing in the direct sales. And people say, well, how can you get these great prices on this stuff? We don't have any middlemen anymore. Remember, the box stores take over 50%. That's right. So we don't have that anymore. And so we're able to do, uh, you know, try and do more volume and try and get, you know, do the best we can to get well, through this. But this and, alternative, and, uh, yeah, this alternative uh, distribution methodology seems to be working well for us too. And um, no, we're enjoying no. the relationship very much. Right. Thank you, sir. Right. Me, so then they went after, take... so then they went after just recently, it's been probably the biggest attack on my pillow since January of 21. And what, early, what this, was that? Early, what was this that? This is just from going on right now. It started in June. When one of my managers at my one of my factories said, I have two factories said, hey, we have all this retail equipment and we have duplicates of everything and we're probably not going back in there. Can we auction some off? I go, yeah, go ahead. And they're just paperweights right now. And and so they, I thought it was just a normal auction and auctioneer comes in. Well, this made worldwide news. My pillow's going under. They had an auction and the media pounced on that. Yeah, I remember and then, that. And then- what happened was then the bank, everybody got, everybody got nervous. All the vendors got nervous and they're going, are you going under? Are you going to go? No, we're very. And then in recently American express came and canceled us. They canceled our line. No reason whatsoever. We use that for shipping. We use it for Google AdWords, Facebook, ad, you know, Facebook ads. And they, it auto draws that it could never, we never were late because if you, if you go beyond the million dollar cap, you would shut all these things down in real time. So yeah, we've been, we've been a 15 year relationship. They cut that and that set off a thing where, you know, I'm going, and then I'm going, well, I have all these defamation lawsuits out there with these horrible machine companies. And the lawyers were charging $2 million a month. And I said, I can't keep up this pace. So I got new lawyer, the new lawyers coming in, it would be like a 10th of that. And you I touched, told the lawyers that. You know. Yeah, you touched on two or three real good points I want to dive into. Let's step away uh, from my pillow just for a second and say the deep state. The mm -hmm. deep state, to me, as it relates to your American Express issue, as it relates to government intervention from a silent force around the Donald Trumps of the world who were trying to do good, you were victim to of what I refer to as a deep state. They worked behind the scenes to try to take you down. It just wasn't about Walmarts and Bed Bath and & Beyond and no. six others. 
to me, it was a conspiracy, not only with Mike Lindell, but other nation, national forces that were trying to transition the thinking of our and our culture in this nation. They integrate. They in, they they invaded several areas of our of our government's governance, of our nation's governance. One of them was the voting machines. You just got finished mentioning. Right. right. Uh, I, I, on my second bill of rights, I post on my website. I talk about the first bill of rights, as you know, is the first ten amendments to the Constitution. Gene's second bill of rights, tongue in cheek, is. 11 new amendments to the Constitution I propose, and I offer this to all those listening and watching, that uh, it's just a springboard for conversation. And one of them is to ensure that we have a mechanism in place to go after the bad guys at any part of government, whether it's the elected official or the staff, the bureaucrats under them. Some have been around longer than the elected official, 10, 20, 30, 40 years behind the elected official who are conspiring with the current elected official. My question to you is, did you, do you feel you've been a victim and therefore my pillow has been a victim of a deep state perpetration to take, not only take you down for the sake of taking you down, but to quash the liberty and freedoms that you, that you, that you espouse so clearly in your, in your marketing. Well, here's what it is. The you guys, everyone's got to realize the Democrats tried to get rid of the voting machines for two decades. Yeah, the electronic voting machines. What what happened to our country in 2020? That's going to be one of the most important elections in history, if not the most important. It re, it's been revealed. It's revealed everything. This was an attack by the CCP, the deep state, as you say, and the globalists, and everybody listen to this very closely. The Uniparty. We all know now. We bet. What I've tried to do to secure our elections, to get to paper ballots hand counted, that's what I've been my driving thing for the last almost three years now. The biggest blockers have been the Republicans, people like Robin Voss of Wisconsin, Brad Rassenberger down in Georgia. Every time we get to these counties and stuff, Republicans come in. No, no, no. We want to keep the machine. We want to keep it. Well, we just had the RNC do a resolution for paper ballots, hand counted, same day voting, precinct level and signature required. And and right now, this is why I have the biggest attack on me right now. Remember, our elections were deemed critical infrastructure by the government a long time ago. Our elections are sacred. You have to have that because everything manifests from the elections. And if you just have selections, it's over. 52 countries have succumbed to the electronic voting machine, Brazil being the last one. My good friend, President Bolsonaro, they took Brazil, stole it from him. And, and right now we have a plan to secure our elections, which I had a, I had a election summit in August. And ever since then, they've been, you're right, they've come at me from every, from every angle. This is a lot bigger than anyone could imagine. I stand in their way. Uh, they, you know, if what they not just having evidence of the of the 2020 election, but so much has been uncovered over the last three years, how deep this goes and how they do not want to get rid of these computers and machines in our election. And yep. this plan, and by the way, everybody, you can go to lindellplan.com, check it out. It's going to work. And we are we already have a hundred counties committed to paper ballots in the 2024 election. And we're going to get more and more as we go. Michael, do you sense that there is a a resurgence to bring back Donald Trump and a stronger Republican Party? I see a lot of our problems has been the rhinos within the Republicans that have, right. and as you can see right now, it's turned on us with Jim Jordan being considered Speaker of the House, how they can't seem to get the last two, what, 17 to 20 votes necessary to take him to House Speaker. Any quick right. comment on who the House Speaker could be or should be and the problem we are facing in that light? Well, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I, I'm going to go back to your the beginning of part of that question, and this is what the pre, our real president. I talk all the time, and he. I told him the other day, you know, every time he gets an indictment, his poll numbers go up. Okay, <laughs> every time I get attacked by the media, they, you know, people know it's the opposite of what the media is saying about me. And I've told, and I've told him, you got to understand, 
we don't have ever since Smartmatic sued Fox News on February 4th of 2021. That started lawfare in our country. We lost almost all the conservative media, Fox News, Newsmax, Salem Media. None of them will talk about elections anymore, period, or election security or anything going on. So we've had to rely on the, the left attacking us to get the word out, right? Well, how do well, we... I told how- but I'm I told sorry, the ahead. president this. I told the president this. His numbers are so high. I said, call this the Donald Trump bucket here. Don't call it a Republican bucket. The Donald Trump bucket, the bucket of common sense. People are pouring in from both sides into this bucket. The more he gets attacked, the more bad things that are going on, people are pouring into the bucket. And he has given given no one a reason to leave that bucket once they're in there. So this is, and like you're talking voting- about- Huh? The voting process itself, Mike, are we still going to have a these remote ballot station, polling booth stations where people can drop off paper ballots in the droves in, in a satchel with 20, 40 ballots in their possession that they're loading into a, a deposit box of sorts at two o'clock in the morning? Are we going to continue to have, are we going to have people monitoring this next election? Since no one's talking, of, hey, want to talk the, about the, the, the illegal. You can get all the answers going to lindellplan.com. We, we are doing that this fall. We have devices they are going to detect when the machines go online because they lied to us. They said, oh, none of the machines are online. They're they're not online. Yes, they are. And now we have devices that were invented over the last year to monitor them. We're actually uh, distributing them in this fall's election for proof of concept. What you're talking about, we are fighting in all 3,143 counties. I have over 300,000 people on the ground called the cause of America. You just don't hear about this on the news. We're out there every day every day working from the ground up from each county up to get them to get rid of the machines go to paper ballots have people at the precinct level monitoring monitoring these elections monitoring. and then we yeah. have we have an app called this is an app the Frank Social app Frank Social you guys can go to the app store this is an election an election app you hit the word election and you're going to see uh, a real-time crime stream. Of, you're also going to look in your backyard and see what the successes are, who's monitoring what. We are going to monitor our own elections. You'll be able to sit in your easy chair this fall, starting this fall, with that Frank Social app, and you're going to be able to monitor everything yourself. You say, are we going to have people monitoring? Oh, yeah, the whole country will be monitoring our thing. We, we're going to have eyes in every precinct, and you're going to see reports come in. If the machines went online, you're going to have reports of if 10 people voted from a house and only one person lives there. And they are, you know, you've got to realize in the 2020 election, every county in the country had people voted in that county that didn't live there or were deceased. Every yeah. single county. And that's illegal. But they yeah. didn't come in and march into those counties and say, let's go vote for Biden. No, their names were used. And they yeah. coupled that with the ballot, the stuffing ballot box and everything. But you still had to have all these computers to be able to cheat on that broad of a scale. You know, everyone, you know, elections, people have been cheating since the dawn of time. But when you have at the scale we're at now, when one press of a button by a few people can change everything. And, and you don't need a, a million people to be in on, in, in on a theft of an election. You just need a few to hit a button and hack into this computers. Folks, we're talking with Mike Lindell, owner, creator, founder of MyPillow. And go to MyPillow.com, hit the promo code Gene V, grab yourself an item or two there. I'm sure you'll find something. Michael is also involved in, a, in making sure, this is important, is involved in making sure that our next election is secure, safe, credible, real. Right. And right. he's involved in the website they can go to to participate, Mike? lindellplan.com lindellplan.com that's going to bring you to this the website you'll be able to see the videos there you'll be able to click on election crime bureau there's different wings of this i have the election crime bureau set up the cause of america but you guys get that go to lindellplan.com and and you can even help out there if you want and they and then the other thing is uh get the frank social app at the app store Get involved, even if it's right from your house. At least get you get to be very informed. This is all about people being aware that there's people out there still fighting for our country and to secure these elections. If these elections are secure, by the way, 
we know if the elections are secure and the machine and and there's no computer uh, computers used, it's sixty eight percent red in this country. This isn't a fifty fifty country. That's that right. ship sailed as this as this administration continues to destroy our country. More and more people are coming to this common sense bucket of Donald Trump, which has to have an R by it. You know because you got to put one letter by it, right? You know, Mike, I was I was on a, a program the other day and I was saying, you know, I was two terms, eight years as a as a former county commissioner here in the panhandle of Florida. And I they asked me about Donald Trump. And I, I all I could say is, look, I don't know the guy personally. I certainly love to someday. But I, when I was a county commissioner, I would go out and say to the folks, look, you don't have to like me. I, I, I'm not here to get you to vote for me because you like me. I want you to vote for me because you believe I could get something done for you. And on my reelection, I'd like you to vote for me because you believe I got stuff done for you. I I don't understand, to your point about the election fraud, I don't understand why people think it was such a close election, whether you believe Trump won or not, and he did, but whether you believe he did or not, how could it be so close when there was such a preponderance of uh, evidence showing otherwise? We don't have time to get into the Kerry Lake story, but I know you know that story well. And well, I it, finance all that. All these said, uh, these are another things that if you check out the lindellplan.com, it brings you to a thing of all the stuff that I have personally funded and that now in the Lindell Offense Fund funded. All those things to like the Cary Lake case there, I fund that. So we we got that right now, by the way, the one to get rid of the machines in Arizona, that is at the Supreme Court of Arizona in the, I believe it's a Ninth Circuit or Eighth Circuit. Yeah. If they deny it there, it's going up to the Supreme Court. We're not stopping. That's what we have a lot of things at the higher level to get to the Supreme Court to secure our elections. And then we're all coming from the bottom up. So you know, they, people need I, people need to understand, and I encourage everybody, when you go to lindellplan.com, go scroll down. There's a, there's a speech I gave called How We Got Here, and everyone needs to watch that, How We Got Here. It tells you right now the great thing, even though things look bad that are going on, there's so much hope, and these things are getting revealed. I truly believe if Donald Trump, if the Supreme Court, let's say on J- December 14th, would have flipped it to Donald Trump, I believe we would have lost our country forever because right now everything's got revealed and everything that's been revealed from the from the Uniparty to the deep state, all these things, the problems we have, people, it's it's opening people's eyes. They don't believe the propaganda anymore that, that, that we were getting boiled like frogs and, and now... What's happened in 2020, all this stuff has been revealed. And when Donald Trump gets back in, now you've got a you're gonna have a stronger foundation and every because you're gonna have 70% of this country behind him. And the other 30 or 30 percent are probably behind him too, but they just won't tell you that, you know. Yeah. How many of the independents and democrats may switch over this way? I was predicting the complete demise of the Democratic Party as we know it today as more and more gets revealed your effort to try to v- ensure efficacy in the in the next voting cycle it's regrettable that the grassroots folks of this nation that's why i came up with the name for the show the grassroots folks of this nation which you and i are part and parcel of have to step up through uh, efforts like yours to validate the merits the efficacy of these election station systems now going forward we have in the counties throughout the nation called supervisors of elections or head of the election process has different names in different areas but they're heads of the election process and then all the way to the secretaries of state you would think they were in place to make sure that that efficacy was in place but you and people like you had to step up to validate it and to check on it because something expose in the it. system expose it yeah. expose it yeah i commend you for that as much as i commend you for your innovative approach in marketing my pillow but it's let me shift gears on you real quick american express i've had a major company that i know of that's been involved with a claim against american express and they claim it's a deep state intent to take these folks down What's the story I saw in the press, true or not true, 
They got hold of you, arrested you, took your cell phone. No, no, true? nobody, no, nobody arrested me. They, I've done nothing wrong. The FBI a year ago surrounded me at a Hardee's. I was coming back from a hunting trip with my buddy. And if it had been at night, I would have bashed right through them because they didn't identify themselves. They surrounded us with three cars. And I got out and I said, I want to, I want so." He said, I said, who are you? And what do you want? He says, the FBI I said, I said, I don't believe you show me a badge. Two of them finally did. And I, and I said, I said, are you arresting me? And they said, no, no, no. We just want to ask you some questions. And I said, well, I want to be arrested. I told him I wanted to be arrested because I wanted to get on the Fox News and news outlets like that that don't tell the truth of what's going on in our country about our elections. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't arrest me. They went, I, I even witnessed to a couple of them about with my book. And one guy had read my book and they, but there was five of them there. And they want, and it gets down after 45 minutes. He goes, but we do have to take your phone. I said, you're not getting my phone. And I said, he goes, he says, oh yeah, we have a thing here to take it. And I said, well, I'm calling my lawyer. He says, no, you can't call your lawyer. I said, let me get this straight. You won't arrest me. And if you arrest me, I can call a lawyer, but you think you're going to take my phone and I can't call a lawyer. I said, we're at an impasse here. So I want to be arrested. I I (laughs) sat and argued with them. They wouldn't arrest me. They finally let me call my attorney. He goes, Mike, give him your phone. And I'm going, no, I'm not doing it. So it was a big argument there. Then after I gave him the phone, I sat and gave those FBI speeches about moral character and that they're attacking citizens. And these guys seem like decent people. And uh, they listened to me for about 45 minutes. And then the one guy goes, I've been doing this 30 years. I've never had a stop quite like this. And I said, he goes, Mike, we have to go. And I'm going, you know what? You're the ones that stopped me and interrupted my day. And uh, by the way, I sued the government and the FBI for that phone and our First Amendment right of free speech and uh, a couple other amendments, too. Just re- this summer, the, they actually ruled in my favor, the judges here at the oh, wow. Eighth Circuit. They ruled in my favor, at least to get the phone back. The government still won't give it back, even though they ruled in my favor. It's unbelievable, the FBI and the government, how they've weaponized the FBI. I believe the CIA is after me all the time. They're watching everything I do. Yeah, I I believe that. Tell me, I guess there's no question you're going to be a Trump supporter in 2024. Can I ask more specifically, what's your role with Donald Trump in the future? Well, I've said... He's told me to, he's told me before, he said, Mike, we, you know, cause I was going to run for governor of Minnesota at one time until I found out about this, the elections. And he goes, you know, you get the biggest applause, Mike, at the things, you know, you, sh- you need to get in the, in politics. And I said, I said, <laughs> sir, I got a job to do first and that's secure our elections. And once I get that gone, whatever, whatever he would want, I would do whatever helps our country. I'm open to, but right now I have one focus and it's 18 hours a day to secure our elections. Cause, uh, and he even said the other day when he called me, he goes, he goes, Mike, you know, the only way I can lose this election is if they steal it again, are you going to have these fixed in time? I said, sir, they're already fixed against you. We need to unfix them and secure them. And <laughs> yeah. Well, this, uh, again, throw the plug out for your organization that's trying to fix them, uh, truly fix them. Yeah. yeah, you guys, go. everybody go to lindellplan.com. It's easy to remember, lindellplan.com. Go there. And also, if you want to help out, that plan needs resources too. But uh, this plan is all launched this uh, fall and it will secure our elections, everybody. You can check out the whole plan there. And then also, remember, everybody, get the Frank Social app. Go to the App Store. Frank, like the name Frank Social. Get that. There's also a Cause of America app, though. You get a twofer. Just put in Mike Lindell apps. And this plan, you once you guys go through it, you're going to go, wow, this is brilliant. I showed it to General Flynn. He said, this is the great, great plan. He said, but it is our only plan. And then I've worked with Turning Point has blessed it. All these other organizations, they realize that we've took all the stuff we've done for three years, put it in one box, and we're going to get through this. And by 2024, I believe we will have enough secure secure elections where we will God bless you to your win. to your lips to God's ears it's yep. October 18th Wednesday 2023 yep. and while we are recording this Mike and I our president Joe Biden is in Israel trying to convey Trail. support to Israel while Arabs back away from him on the desire to meet with him because of alleged bombing by Israel to a Palestinian hospital in the Gaza 
what a shame that they've turned the tables and tried to blame Israel for this alleged bombing, which now evidence today is showing, concrete, credible evidence shows that the bombing of this hospital in Gaza was a misfire by either the Hamas folks or other jihad-type regimes within within Gaza. Mike, do you get into this side of the politics right now, or is it really 18 hours a day just on the next election? It's 18 hours a day with the plan to secure our elections every day, and, and everything ties into that. That's what they attack my pillow for. That's why they attack me. They just want my voice stopped because they know that they that I'm I'm the biggest threat to those elections so they can keep stealing that they have in the world because I've had all the information for three years. 300,000 people underneath me that we've we've got every level, every law, almost every lawsuit in the U.S. that's t- to secure our elections ties back to our group. And we're like a hub of a wheel. And you just don't hear about it out there. But we, we're working hard. We have over over 40 lawsuits. We have things going on all over the country. That's the threat to them. They want to silence me, run me out of money, run my voice down, destroy my pillow so I stop talking. And I will say this. I will never, ever, ever stop. There's no deals with these machine companies other than melt them down and turn them into prison bars. There's the deal. And I put on my favorite hat. I think you'll appreciate it. Can you see this? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's right. We the people. Yeah. We the people. We're getting together. And our democracy and the success of it is from the grassroots, from the ground up. And folks like Mike Lindell, founder and creator of the My Pillow concept and the expanded distribution of goods and services that he's now offering nationwide, worldwide. Uh, Mike, any final comments? You like? I got a few more comments, real quick. What, what, what's your organization look like in terms of trying to protect the elections in 2024? Uh, I know they're going to access it through the website you mentioned, but is it a d- regional system that's set up no, state it's all, by state? It's over the whole country, all 50 states, all 50 states. You guys, just go. You need to go get educated on the plan. Everybody, go to lindellplan.com. It's it's not that complex. But it's going to work. We've, like I say, we have a hundred counties already committed to go to paper ballots and count it. And there's, you know, yes, there's over three thousand left to go. But we're going to get each and every one of them. We've been working hard. You hear stuff like Shasta County, um, California, a yeah. the group there. They they went their paper ballots and counted. Now we're fighting the state of California that they passed a quick bill to stop that. But we're that'll end up being a legal fight. I just want everybody to know that before I go is you guys, God's got his hand in all of this and everything that's happening right now, even though it looks bad on paper is helping is going to help reveal more and more. And you have more people getting aware and coming to this bucket of common sense. When we get way out here, we're going to look back and say, all this had to happen just the way it did. And it was on God's timing, not our timing. And believe me, if you look up me and Google me, you don't see, and you Google patience, you don't seem a picture of me, but I've had to learn to be patient here. And very, we're very discerning and using uh, everything we have, every tool, everything, every knowledge we have is put into this plan to secure our elections. We get one shot at this, everybody, and this is it. It's the greatest time in history to be alive because we are going to win. And and you can you just need to get on board, everybody, and you can get you know find get educated on it. God bless you, Michael. You've done a great job. It's a wonderful story. Uh, the nation needs to hear about it. Gene Valentino's Grassroots Truthcast will do its best to push the word out further. www.genevalentino.com will get you to the My Pillow app, and we'll make sure we post the other apps as well about election f- verification coming up in 2024. My guest today has been Mike Lindell of My Pillow. Michael, any final thoughts? No, not that what I just said there. It's just everybody you can keep help support my pillow using your promo code Gene V and all the stuff. The towels, thirty or fifty percent off, twenty nine ninety eight. All the new towels are in. All the new products for this fall. Get them before they come out in the commercials. Slippers thirty nine ninety eight. My pillow two point oh thirty nine ninety eight. Everybody asks how can I help? My pillow is being attacked. Employee owned company. Get on board and buy, get their products, give them some security. There's We're the on slippers. Board. <laughs> <laughs> We're right. on board. I've got the slippers. Thank you, Gene. Okay, thank you.
Thank you very much. Mike Lindell, My Pillow. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, God bless. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for Gene Valentino's Grassroots Truthcast. Be sure to like and subscribe, and God bless America.